Tonight, Two News Investigates is looking into what kind of oversight there is when it comes to food trucks in our state. Because, of course, we're seeing more and more of those these days. Natalie Tendall asking what's being done to keep the trucks and the food we enjoy safe. Natalie? Well, records show a majority of food trucks in our area pass food safety inspections. But you may be surprised to learn that one of the most dangerous parts on these trucks are not even being looked at. That's visible before. Hunger Pain's food truck is on a mission to take its unique cuisine all over the Miami Valley. Uh, this is our cooler and prep table. But before any of these diners on wheels do that, we found they need to get a license and inspection once a year from a county health department. And where they go and make sure you have proper holding temperatures. You have running water, you have hot running water, you have sanitizer. Uh, your sanitizer is the right solution. After a food truck passes an inspection in Montgomery County, they get one of these stickers to put on their trucks, showing you they've been inspected. After that, any inspector in any county can stop by to make sure they're following all of the food safety rules. So for the most part, the, uh, the food trucks, the food trailers are inspected many more times than what a regular restaurant would be. Come back and see us. While these trucks may be inspected a lot, Two News Investigates found two things that are not. The first is employees. Is there any requirements for the people who work for the food trucks? Currently, there's no education requirements currently for food truck operators, but we strongly recommend that they come into our level one food safety class. Payne said he and the Dayton Food Truck Association are working to get all food truck employees in the area to take a serve safe class so they know more about handling food okay. and preventing illness. Two News Investigates also uncovered a bigger issue that has nothing to do with the food, but everything to do with the safety around the truck. So nobody's looking at those propane tanks. Exactly. So is that kind of worrisome in a way? It is. Many trucks like Payne's use big propane tanks as their heat source. Payne is constantly checking his for leaks, but nobody else is. It can be a big issue, especially someone like ourselves who have two 100-pound tanks on the back. That could be a mess. In our area, there have been a few small fires, but look how bad it got in other states. This surveillance video caught a food truck explosion last summer in Philadelphia. It critically injured people. The cause? A leaky propane tank. The possibility that something like this could happen here have health inspectors worried, but they can't do anything about it. It's not a food safety issue. There is no follow-up from a fire department official or a building official when the propane is um, put onto the vehicle. So that is a concern of ours. Payne tells us he wouldn't mind more oversight in that area. Do you think those should be inspected more? Um, I, don't, I think it would be good if uh, someone did inspect them at least. Um, I, I've, we, we've been in service now about a year and a half, and we have never been inspected on our propane tanks. Now, Payne is also the vice president of the Dayton Food Truck Association. He says the newer network of trucks are holding each other accountable when it comes to food and safety equipment. He says they're making sure their members know how to check for propane leaks and where to take safe serving classes. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, investigates. And if you have a story you'd like Natalie to check into, you can contact her at 2 at WDTN.com.